Hi, this is Mike Dierks, the Regional Missionary Coordinator for the Presbytery of Ohio in our October of 2021 edition. And today I'm talking with uh, Elder Dan Powell, who's a member of Reformation OPC in Morgantown, West Virginia, about the Bible study, the group that's meeting just south of Morgantown. So Dan, real quick, tell us a little bit about the group, their history, where are they meeting, you know, kind of what started this group. Sure. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate the opportunity. So uh, Reformation OPC is the only Orthodox Presbyterian church in West Virginia. And at the time that uh, uh, we started was this group, we were the only Reformed and Presbyterian church in North Central West Virginia. Uh, the session noted that uh, the Lord had been adding uh, some folks to our congregation from south of Morgantown in that north central West Virginia area uh, in those counties south and in the session considered God's providence and decided to hold a meeting with these families to see if there is interest in planning a church to the south of Morgantown. So uh, this uh, initial meeting yielded some mixed results, uh, but the session determined to go forward with the Bible study. Very good. And, and how long has the Bible study been going approximately? Yeah, the, the Bible study has been meeting for about two and a half years now. Uh, we've worked our way through the Gospel of Mark, and we're now going through the studying the book of Acts together. Um, oh. Yeah. oh, good, good. So, so they've been meeting as a Bible study. Approximately how many are out? What's the frequency? You know, can give us a little of what's happening right now there. Sure. So yeah, thank you for that. Um, so in terms of the Bible study, we meet monthly uh, for Bible study. Uh, we are meeting in, in one of the homes of the group. Uh, so there's one family from Fairmont, and then we have three or four families in the uh, Bridgeport-Clarksburg area. And so a Bible study is presently meeting in Fairmont. In, in, and the thing, one of the things that's encouraging to me is that both with the, with the Bible study and the prayer meeting uh, is that it's not just Bible study and prayer meeting, it's dinner and Bible study, it's dinner and prayer meeting. So it's a potluck event. Uh, so everybody's bringing something and contributing. And uh, that's been an opportunity for the group to work on relationships and build that close-knit community and to have something to invite people to that's uh, to be able to build relationships with them as well. Well, they're very good. Good. So there's some Bible study, prayer, fellowship, building the, building the core identity of the group. So, you know, just, and I know we're looking into the providence of God, but right. as you look into 2022, what do you see as far as the group? Is it going to stay in Fairmont? Is it going to move to Bridgeport? There was that discussion, kind of where, where are things heading and, and how are they going to start connecting into the community? Just ideas that they've got. Sure, I appreciate that. The, the vision of the session is, is that we ought to be working in the Bridgeport, uh, Clarksburg, Harrison County community. Um, and we, that is where the primary locus of the families are. And so we see that as the best opportunity to start a work. Um, you know, in terms of, of people inviting and, and connecting into the community, uh, one of our, our uh, families, the, the member works at actually Fairmont State. He's been inviting some college students to the group. Uh, that's been good. Another uh, couple living in Bridgeport. Uh, they've been making some a lot of connections through the local Christian school and, and neighbors. And so uh, we had one couple show up at our prayer meeting uh, in August. Uh, certainly one of the struggles uh, in this last couple of years has been uh, COVID and trying to bridge that gap and make some of those connections and for people and for people to feel comfortable. And so we think that that we're working through that and people seem to be comfortable, more comfortable now to come out and join us. So uh, we're looking, trying to figure out what are the next uh, significant steps to take in terms of, of adding to that group and making the work known 
uh, in that Bridgeport community. Okay, great. As we wrap up, just two or three things that the churches that are watching this should be praying for as this group develops and Lord willing becomes that mission work. What, what are two or three things that we can keep in prayer? Yeah. So certainly pray for the existing efforts that we have with the Bible study and the prayer meeting uh, that you know, our members will be uh, comfortable and free to invite and that people will come. Uh, one of the other events that we have going on is a monthly Calvin and Hops meeting where uh, we're getting together, the men are getting together for dinner and for uh, some discussion of theology. And uh, so we've had uh, three or four men coming consistently that are from the community. And uh, one of those men is actually being uh, trained and worked with particularly by another member of our group. And so they're working particularly on that. So pray for you know, those particular relationships and those particular events. Uh, we very much would like to call a man, uh, an evangelist, a church planner, a organizing pastor, I'm not sure what term to use there, but uh, so pray that the Lord would be shaping and preparing that man to come and to uh, work with our group. And, and then of course, adding two, three, four families to our group uh, that will we think we have a great core of uh, families of folks who are solid and who are mature uh, in the faith. And so uh, we think that will make a, a great base from which to grow a church. And so we're looking forward to see what God will do. Well, very good. We'll keep that in prayer and keep the session in prayer as they oversee this. So thank you, Dan, for your time. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it.